In this video, we go over the library functions of Serato DJ. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Okay, now let's go over the library functions in Serato DJ. First, on this left hand side, you'll see all the places where you can find music uh, in your library. So right at the top is the all. This is all the music that you added to your Serato DJ library. So if you have drag and drop music into different crates, or uh, even uh, if you have had your iTunes library synced to or linked to Serato DJ, all that music can be found here in all. This is a good uh, catch-all place to like if you're not sure what crate something's in, just click on the all and then go do your search and you're more likely to find it. Next is uh, two derivatives of this all is all audio and all video as in um, Serato DJ you can video DJ as well if you have uh, a video plugin such as uh, Serato, D Serato DJ video or um, mix emergency so um, they would be split up here. Next is uh, where I do most of my um, library management is in the iTunes uh, link in Serato DJ. This links to your iTunes library and um, all of your playlists and uh, songs should end up here. So <clears throat> as you can see I have my playlist in different folders in uh, I playlist folders in iTunes so they show up here and you can even have multiple levels not just uh, one playlist folder and then the playlist you can actually uh, have multiple levels, which I really enjoy and I use a lot, uh, just like you can see here. So what's cool about this is that if uh, you're not too into doing your music management and uh, ID3 tag uh, fixing in um, Serato DJ, you can do it in iTunes, um, which I find a lot more flexible and a lot faster to work through than working in Serato DJ, but to each their own. Um, I mean, as long as you get your music library up to your standard and how you like to have it, that's all that matters. So again, you have your all, you have your iTunes uh, link, and then you have crates, uh, which is basically a uh, playlist in Serato DJ. In Serato DJ, you have crates, sub crates, and now you have smart crates and smart sub crates. So a crate would be anything like uh, this, which is a pl uh, crate of songs that need to be um, ran through Record Buddy 2 to add tags to. So you can just go ahead and grab any songs and just drop them into like that. And there it is. Just drop them into um, any crate. You can do multiple at once. Super easy. Super fast, super easy. And these get saved. Um, once you close Serato, they'll be there when you open them back up. Also, you can do sub crates. So, if I add a crate and I click and drag it to this crate right here, it'll be. Uh, hold on. Like that. Now I have a sub crate. So, if I go ahead and take these songs and throw them into this sub crate. This upper crate right here will contain all the songs which that are in all the subcrates. So if I create multiple subcrates, so let's create more. So for instance, can't have the same name, so let me do that. All right. Let me clear this. <clears throat> now as you can see all this music is in the different crates so even if I move that to crate 3 all this music is in these three crates but this top crate contains all the music uh, within the sub crates so if for instance you're just kind of going through your library fast and just want to make a giant list of stuff you want to play tonight you can throw it into a crate and then if you have a little mo bit more time you can create sub crates and kind of uh, organize it even further and narrow it down to a uh, different list of songs you want. And you don't have to worry like if 
which uh, crate. You don't have to worry about remembering which crate something's in in the sub crate. You can just go ahead and click on the, the master crate and all the songs will be on here and you'll be able to search them. So that's a one way that a lot of DJs go ahead and uh, organize their music is throw them in the crate, then take the time later on when they have time to kind of organize it through and um, just narrow down like different genres or different uh, you know moods of songs or different BPMs. Uh, DJs have tons of different ways to do it. I mean, that's what's good about Serato is you have the flexibility to organize the way you want to organize. So um, sub crates are a great feature just <clears throat> to have that extra level of organization. So let me go ahead and close this down. And uh, with the later versions of Serato Scratch Live, and of course, now in Serato DJ, you have the option to make smart crates. So what smart crates are, are crates, but with rules. This is similar to smart playlists in um, iTunes. So let me go ahead and go through how to create a smart crate. So let me go ahead and make a rule where I have songs, let's see, that were added. Uh, actually, no, let's go. Songs with the BPM range greater than or equal to, let's say, 80, and then add another rule. BPM range less than or equal to 100. So let me go through what these rules mean. So BPM greater than or equal to 80, and then I also have the second rule, BPM less than or equal to 100. And I also have this box checked right here, which means the songs in the crate will have to match all the rules that I have listed. So with these two rules, the songs that end up in this crate that I'm making should be every song in my library with the BPMs from 80 to 100. So let's go save. You see right here, it's creating the crate and you can see it was refreshing. And now here's that crate of songs from 80 to 100. Now a newer feature in Serato DJ is you can make smart crates sub crates. So if you have a crate like this that has multiple sub crates in it, you can go ahead and add that smart crate and have it be a sub crate within this crate. Now this crate's gonna hold all the same music that the smart crate holds, uh, just like these regular crates. But what I kind of like to use this as is um, sort of like how I have these folders here with a uh, smart playlist underneath them. I would use a regular crate to create a you know a quote unquote folder and put multiple smart crates underneath it. So that way you can have this kind of more organized structure that I have here in my iTunes playlist, and it's now possible in Serato DJ, which it wasn't before. <clears throat> now let's move on to the actual library. So one of the, this is the actual full like library window right here, and one of the cool features that just got added is, is secondary sort, which means I can go ahead and say, just, I can sort by BPM or artist or song, just like you can in uh, most DJ softwares, but now, with secondary sort, I can click on BPM, and then I can click on artist. And now, as you can see, it's sorted by artist first, and then BPM. So now it's all the 50 cent songs, and then they go all in BPM order. And you can do this with any of the columns you have in your uh, library right here, which can be found by right clicking. So you have all these different columns that you can have. I only have the very minimum and the ones that I use the most, but you have all these options that you can have and um, have visible and you can hide them and show them whenever you need them. So think of all the kind of secondary sorting you can do with all of these different kind of columns. Really powerful. And to clear that out, all you have to do is just click on another column and it goes back to normal. So really quick to secondary sort and really fast to get it back to where it was. Super easy. Uh. <clears throat> also, right here, this is the actual search bar. So this is where you would search for songs, you know, anything at all. So really easy to find. And that's also um, sort of by these right here under the, the magnifying glass. Just go ahead and click on that arrow and you can select 
which columns you want to search by. So if you're only interested in searching for song titles or artists or anything in particular, you can actually narrow that down. A lot of DJs don't know that, that you can actually pick which columns and which ID3 tags you want searched. But as a rule of thumb, usually you have all of them selected just so you have a broader search. But if you really need to niche down and like dig dig down to get that certain ID3 tag, it's possible as well. So don't forget that. If you click on the uh, the magnifying glass or the arrow right here, you can narrow down your search even further. And in Serato DJ, they moved the autoplay button down here. It used to be at the top, but now they moved it down here. So if you're doing something like a mobile DJ gig, like a, a wedding during, during dinner or uh, a corporate gig where you're just kind of playing background music and you don't have to really worry about mixing and blending and you're just kind of playing song to song just to get through the hour or whatever, you can set up a crate, hit autoplay, load the song to a deck, and it'll just continuously play through. Just like you would, be, you would be playing like iTunes or anything like that. So if you're wondering where that autoplay function went from Serato Scratch Live, it's actually moved down here to the library section. So that's a, another uh, feature that got kind of slightly changed, but it's still here in Serato DJ. And at the bottom here on the right side, you have the My Serato tab. This is where you would open up to look at all the um, different packs that you can buy for Serato DJ, such as Pitch and Time or Serato Flip or the effects packs, even uh, bigger items such as you can actually purchase Serato Video through clicking on this tab right here, clicking on Expansions. Um, you can also buy plugins like the DVS plugin or the Club Kit. All that, can, all that stuff can be actually purchased through this My Serato tab right here as long as you have an internet connection. So you don't actually have to go to the website. All that can be handled within the software itself. So that's a look at all the features of the library section of Serato DJ. So question of the day, which feature of the library section are you going to use and which one is most important to you? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching P.TV where you find tips, tricks, and tutorials to DJs and music performers. See you next time.